So we are joined on the phone line by S. Ravi Kumar, President of Business Development at Bajaj Auto. Good afternoon, Mr. Ravi Kumar. As the numbers have been rather decent this time around. Margins are close to 19%. Uh, how do you expect the trend to be? Do you believe that uh, uh, such margins, uh, you'll be able to maintain margins going ahead or are you looking at a higher trajectory now? See, the, the margin, first let me talk about the underlying business. Sure. Um, I would like to talk more uh, specifically about Q1 because um, in these troubled times we would, like, we would like to restrict ourselves to the current quarter and take it quarter by quarter. Um, as you would have seen um, in the press release, um, Q4 to Q4 the growth has been um, substantial in um, almost a 33% uh, growth uh, in um, numbers as uh, um, completely uh, flowed through the entire uh, p and and the top line to EBITDA to uh, PBT to PAT. Um, the, if we come to April, uh, the monthly uh, numbers, there again, uh, we have shown a, a good 24% um, type of um, growth in, um, in, um, in April. Um, the, the, for Q1, um, we would like to say that um, the total numbers will be in place. We are looking at um, a total um, monthly hit rate of about 400,000. In the first month itself, we've already done 415,000. If we talk about the big blocks, exports um, is uh, quite uh, uh, steady and uh, nicely shaping up with um, also the oil prices uh, helping a lot of uh, African and other countries. Uh, the currency rate is uh, quite good there, so that business is holding on nicely. In the three-wheeler segment, which has been a profitable uh, uh, segment for us, um, the uh, diesels and the cargoes are, uh, are actually getting us uh, better market shares and our products are doing very well. Um, in, uh, in the domestic motorcycles, we have got our act right uh, both in the entry segment with City and Platina and uh, in the top segment with uh, Pulsars. So that has uh, started showing results in April, but the full effect of that will pan out in uh, May and June. So I think... Uh, uh, when you're looking at uh, uh, the profit percentage, it's a combination of uh, so many things. The, uh, without doubt, uh, the pressure of uh, the input uh, costs is there. But that said, um, I think we are relatively much better placed because of our exposure to exports, of uh, three-wheelers, of the, of the dollar realizations, and uh, generally the mix. If you look at even the average realization per unit, uh, um, uh, quarter on quarter, our realizations have been getting better. I think these are all pointers that uh, the mix is uh, is, tending, is relatively better as compared to other competitors for holding on to a better uh, margin. Uh, Mr. Ravi Kumar, this is Yatin joining in from the research team. Uh, uh, you know, first of all, congratulations on the fourth quarter earnings. Uh, sir, I just wanted to understand, uh, since, uh, you know, you have been talking about EBITDA margins in excess of 20%, uh, of course, uh, in FI18, we had seen good contribution coming in from the three-wheeler sales and probably that aided your margins. Uh, getting into FI19, apart from the, uh, you know, uh, fact that rupee has been depreciating, you know, more or less, there will be a compensation coming in as your exports grow. Uh, but back home in the domestic markets, so do you think uh, the margin levels are sustainable or do you think uh, commodity cost pressures uh, could hurt uh, the overall uh, margins for you? I think um, if you look at the um, operating leverage there, um, that we should have the benefit of that because export uh, uh, three-wheelers, uh, many markets are uh, starting to contribute, Philippines, Iraq, and um, uh, and the traditional markets of um, Bangladesh and uh, other markets are doing very well. Egypt is doing very well. So, in fact, uh, we should expect a, a good growth, I would um, maybe in the, in the ballpark of um, uh, 18 to 20% in exports for three-wheelers in the next uh, fiscal. And we had a huge kicker from the Maharashtra uh, permits in Q3 and Q4 of last fiscal. 
Of course, that will taper off and it will have its effect in the first quarter, but uh, normalcy will return from Q2 onwards. But some more um, uh, states uh, are expected to open up permits. So uh, we have to wait and see. But uh, as of uh, now, uh, our um, anticipation is in domestic. Uh, we'll be able to hold on to the uh, huge number that was delivered in um, the last fiscal Plus, in exports, we'll have this um, 18 to 20 percent of uh, type of a growth, and that I think should uh, compensate and hold on to the uh, profitability in that segment. And sir, uh, uh, do you think FI19 the new launches could aid the overall volume growth? And uh, uh, if you could also give us a picture on uh, the market share, uh, do you expect uh, good gains coming in the coming quarters? We have decided not to talk uh, about any annual guidance, uh, and uh, these are, uh, you know, the oil is doing what it's doing, and um, you see the political scenario in various uh, places, and um, whatever is the scenario here. Um, what, uh, coming specifically to domestic motorcycles, um, the, in the entry segment and in the uh, top sports segment, uh, we have started um, uh, getting good traction for our uh, initiatives, both on the product front on, and on the uh, marketing strategies and communication strategies and all that. Um, ZT and Platina have started doing extremely well. And in April itself, we have started uh, seeing the results of that. And um, uh, the, those are the models which are very relevant for us in the marriage season. The pulsers, uh, the twin disc pulsar and other actions that we have panned out um, uh, in pulsar uh, classic 150, uh, that has uh, started doing extremely well. And but uh, the full impact of that is yet to um, yet to show up in the numbers. Uh, we hope that will fall in place very nicely. But so sticking only to the first quarter, we think uh, that um, all told, we'll uh, we should do. A uh, hit rate of uh, 400,000 units per month uh, run rate. Uh, 415,000 in April is already in the pocket. And um, exports, three wheelers, and uh, City Platina, Pulsars are all um, shaping up nicely. So let us see how this takes it forward.